In the earnest pursuit of securing the talents of Nigerian goalkeeper Stanley Nwabili, the Kaiser Chiefs find themselves at a crossroads where strategic decisions beckon, potentially necessitating the departure of two incumbent goalkeepers, as disclosed by sources intimately acquainted with the unfolding scenario. Amidst the fervor of representing Nigeria in the prestigious Africa Cup of Nations, Nwabili has not only exhibited stellar performances, but has also piqued the interest of the Glamour Boys, instigating a fervent desire to fortify their squad in the imminent aftermath of the ongoing season. Sources privy to the matter divulge that Chippa United's Stanley Nwabili has ascended to the zenith of Kaiser Chiefs' priority list, establishing a notable link between the club and the Super Eagles' formidable shot-stopper. The closure of the January transfer window has prompted Kaiser Chiefs to redirect their focus towards the forthcoming season, strategically eyeing potential acquisitions to enhance their roster. A confidential informant disclosed, the club is contemplating the release of two goalkeepers to create a void for the inclusion of Nwabili. He stands prominently among the targeted signings and preliminary indications strongly suggest that two goalkeepers will be deemed surplus, ensuring the presence of at least four goalkeepers in the first team in addition to one from their DDC side. A secondary source, well-versed in the intricacies of the matter, hinted at the likelihood of experienced goalkeeper Itumalang Kuhn and the emerging talent Bontla Carabo Molefe being the primary contenders for departure. The source elaborated, For Kuhn, the decision revolves around his contract reaching its culmination in June, with Sekahune United already expressing a keen interest. In Molefe's case, his aspirations for increased playing time away from the Chiefs render both goalkeepers viable options, creating the requisite space for the impending arrival of Nwabili. Despite the apparent proximity of the deal, a layer of complexity is introduced by the reported interest from European clubs notably those in Belgium, in securing Nwabili's services. The source of further remarked, Wheel of the deal is on the verge of materializing. Potential complications may arise from the interest expressed by European clubs. It is understood that Kaiser Chiefs Football Club has made swift moves in the now-concluded January transfer window for the services of one of their striker targets. However, it is also believed that the deal fell through as the offer placed on the table by Amakosi was in fact quite too low for their DSTV Premiership rivals to accept. It is no secret that Kaiser Chiefs has been after striker Oswin Apolis of Poliquain City FC. The media has been reporting of Chiefs showing interest in the attacker that has established himself as a prolific forward this season. Apollos has been in too pristine form in front of goal for City, and this has opened doors for him at the national football team, Bafana. Bafana. As Hugo Bros noticed his impeccable form, Apollos is now part of Bafana Bafana, and this has increased the player's value in whole. This spelled out bad news for Kaiser Chiefs, as they would have to scratch deep in their pockets to secure his signature. According to a source, Amakosi put an offer on the table for Apolis, but Polokwane City FC reportedly felt that the offer is not nearly close to what the player is now worth. Polokwane City FC reportedly rejected the offer, and thus Oswin Apolis remains a City player after the January transfer window closed. The January transfer window was the perfect window of opportunity for Chiefs to secure Apolis's signature, but since they did not scratch deep enough in their pockets, the pursuit for Apolis is over, at least for now. Due to stinginess, Chiefs might have lost out on one great asset, which could have helped them prosper for the rest of the season. It is undisclosed what the offer was, that was brought forward in the pursuit of the 22-year-old, who has scored five goals with two assists in 17 matches. Since his September transfer from Stellenbosch, Mathethwa's integration into Amakosi has been a gradual process, with the Soweto Giants yet to witness the replication of his earlier stellar performances.
The respite provided by the AFCON break, however, has afforded the 29-year-old valuable time to forge stronger connections with his teammates and acclimate to the club's modus operandi, marking significant strides in his assimilation. Reflecting on this period of respite, Mathethwa articulated, This break served as a pivotal opportunity for me to comprehend the intricacies of the club and understand my teammates better, especially considering the absence of a preseason with them. The resulting team bond during this hiatus has allowed us to perceive things from a different perspective, fostering a sense of cohesion. Enduring the weight of expectations synonymous with donning the Amakosi jersey, Methethwa acknowledged the pressure, but asserted his adept handling of it, affirming that it won't impede his developmental trajectory. Undoubtedly, there's pressure associated with playing for Amakosi and other clubs, but the dynamics differ. The overarching challenge for us is addressing the team's struggle to clinch trophies. Our collective endeavor is focused on elevating this pressure by contributing to the team's trophy triumphs, he emphasized. In contemplating the ubiquitous nature of pressure in football, Mathethwa elucidated, Pressure is an omnipresent element in football, irrespective of the playing field. Expectations perpetually linger, regardless of the venue. Here at Amakosi, our primary pressure stems from the imperative to secure silverware. Outlining the team's aspirations, Mathethwa revealed their intention to seamlessly pick up from where they left off in the previous year. He disclosed, Our forthcoming performances aim to mirror the conclusion of the previous year, characterized by a triumphant run of three wins and a draw in the last four matches before the break. The mindset we cultivated during that period is crucial, and we aspire to sustain it. Elaborating on their strategic planning during the break, Mathet Y. Affirmed, the hiatus allowed us a window for comprehensive preparation. We are resolute in our commitment to building on the foundation laid before the break. Our objective is clear, to maintain consistency, secure victories, and firmly position ourselves in the top three.